Hey, money actors. Today's a crazy story that the FBI is raiding safety deposit boxes, and this is another reason why you've got to... So add your kids, add your wife, add your kids, add your wife, add your kids, add your wife, and add your husband, because they're raping their body on you. All right, that was just kind of fun. But crazy that they're diving into people's bank safety deposit boxes. And of course, they're going in initially that there's some sort of crime that's happened. But they went through 700 in Beverly Hills. And people are pissed off because they did nothing wrong. And they actually confiscated anything that was over $5,000. And you can see in this LA Times article that... Of course, they're angry about their Fourth Amendment rights being unlawfully violated. Here's the part where they've seized assets worth over $5,000. Later down in this article, it even says that they stole this money just based off of we don't know what criminal activities could have been involved in this, which is, which is insane. What happened to the FBI? Why are they so corrupt now? Everything inside the box is worth at least $5,000 as part of a wholesale forfeiture based on an assumption that those assets were somehow tied to unknown crimes. <laughs> so they're just taking money. It's crazy. So you have to ask yourself why, of course. But the FBI, this is another sort of example of where they really, in my eyes, started going corrupt, which was all during the pandemic, where they went in and coerced social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter before Elon Musk took over. Um, YouTube, I mean, I remember having to say Cerveza sickness because you couldn't say that word or you were going to get blocked by social media, and it was FBI and the White House that were actually pushing this agenda. Why are they doing this? Well, it's anytime you have to stop free speech, there's always a nefarious action behind it. And we've realized that anything that they pushed on saying this is misinformation so you can't hear that so we're going to block it and this is the real information was actually lies how corrupt the fbi has become to lead up to this point where they're shutting free speech down which is vastly more important in my opinion that's the number one thing that makes america great but to then go in and rip people off from their own banks is crazy but it's happened before and in 1934, one of the worst presidents in U.S. history, FDR, which I know is blasphemous to most people. A lot of people think of him as a hero because really he created socialism in the United States. But what he did was he took everyone's gold, said it was illegal for Americans to own gold. And so everybody had to turn in their gold into the United States Treasury. They paid for it, said, here's your $25 for your ounce of gold. And then right when they took it all, they jacked up the price. So they literally ripped everyone off of their gold and caused inflation. And this was just a way for them to not only rip the Americans off, but then pay for their massive welfare programs, which began with him. Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, the largest reasons why the United States is bankrupt right now. And then, of course, now the military industrial complex, the medical industrial complex have really risen to insane levels. But then you've got interest payments of a trillion dollars a year on top of that, partially because of this guy. Then you've got Nixon, who took us off the gold standard in 1971. All of this relates back to theft of the American people. And so why is the FBI so corrupt? Why is the CIA so corrupt? It's clearly because of our money system. Our money system is breaking down. We're losing control. That is the number one reason why the United States is so powerful, because it has the reserve currency of the world. This is supposed to be the United States, where we're free to speak our minds and freedom to live our lives and pursue happiness. And they're definitely coming after that these days. And so I've got to speak out. And if you study money, you can clearly see why. It's all because of the money system. And so I'm going to wrap this up real quick, quick video, just to show the corruption, hide your gold, hide your money. And the best way to do that is not in a bank account, as you can see, not in a safety deposit box, as you can see. You need to hide your gold in a non-bank account. So that could be a Brinks because it's a private vault. I'm going to show you monetary metals, which I am an affiliate of. And this is a unique way where you can store your gold in a non-bank vault and then lease it out to people who use gold as utility for 
jewelry or for industry or whatever it might be, and they need to keep the price stable. And so they lease your gold out. They don't give your gold to somebody else. It actually stays in the private vault for you to take possession of whenever you like. You just sign up for the certain contract for a specific time. Usually it's like a year and you make yield on your gold while it's sitting there. You're not paying storage fees. You're actually making interest on the gold that's sitting in the vault. And that can be two to 5%, just like you would be putting your money in the bank, your cash in the bank. It's your gold sitting in a bank being leased out to make yield on. And so I've got a link below that you can check that out as a new way to store and protect your wealth. So stay with me. We're gonna fight the good fight and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and protect yourself.